today we're going to learn how to create campaigns in smartreach so everything in smartreach with regard to sending emails happens through campaign so uh, let's see what are the different steps that are involved in creation of campaign first thing is you need to and click on this create new campaign button and uh, sel uh, select the emails uh, email address from which you want to send these emails and receive uh, replies to and uh, you can choose the owner uh, owner of this campaign this is particularly useful if you are uh, if you have multiple team members managing your uh, campaigns and you can choose which team member you want to assign this campaign next step is uploading of your prospects you can add your prospects manually or upload them through a csv file if you are uploading through a csv file click uh, select the appropriate csv file Uh, map the fields in your CSV file with that of uh, SmartReach columns. If by chance there exists a SmartReach, uh, you know, a CSV a field in your CSV file or column in your CSV file for which there is a, um, not an appropriate column in SmartReach, you can always add a new column in SmartReach and map them accordingly. Next step is uh, in this next step you can see you can create an uh, you know, name you can give a name to your list so that it uh, becomes easy for you to filter out these prospects at a later stage you can uh, select the ownership of these prospects if you have multiple team members you can uh, select uh, which team member owns these prospects now if you um, are just updating uh, uploading duplicate prospects with newer information or something like that you can simply select this button and uh, basically when uploading smart reach would uh, you know uh, update the newer information for these duplicate prospects if you don't want to uh, add prospects which are already assigned in a different campaign or something like that you can simply select this and uh, smartreach ignores uh, you know duplicate prospects which are already existing in different campaigns if you want to force change the ownership of the prospects you can select this option uh, which is uh, only available for admins at this point in time and you can upload your prospects Smartreach gives you the success or you know failure of your uh, prospect uh, upload uh, upload pros uh, process over here. Um, you can see here by default, uh, you know Smartreach is trying to validate your email addresses, and only for a valid email address, uh, you know Smartreach would send email campaigns to. If there is an invalid email address, uh, Smartreach would never send an email to that particular prospect. Next step in the uh, email creation uh, process is the content creation part where you can actually give in your email template. So you can choose different uh, subject lines and you can include a merge tag from here. And you have the option to include, uh, you know, select a template from here. You have multiple uh, text editing options from here. Or you can include uh, hyperlinks or images or uh, you know em uh, emojis from here. If you want to include any table data or something like that, you can select from here. Or if you want to include any HTML code or something like that, you can paste it here. Uh, you can send a test email from here and uh, to see how your email looks to your prospect. Uh, you can save this as a new template and reuse it for later uh, uh, in your later campaigns. Or you can simply save changes. SmartReach also gives you the ability to, uh, you know, test which uh, subject lines are working for you. So basically, uh, you can create multiple variants of the same email, and you can create multiple uh, subject lines and all. So when you do this, SmartReach basically splits the prospects uh, uh, be, uh, and sends them uh, different uh, these uh, different variants. And whenever, uh, based on that data, you can basically choose which ones, uh, which subject lines are working for you and which ones are not. And uh, after sending a few emails, you can basically, you know, uh, choose an appropriate, uh, you know, email template which is getting you better open rates. And the other, you can simply click here to pause that particular uh, email template. So you can add up to five different variants and uh, of A/B testing in SmartReach. So the next step is creation of an automated follow-up. If there is a no, if there is no response from a particular prospect, uh, you know you can simply send an automated follow-up uh, after uh, the number of days you choose. So let's say you chose three days, and if in these three days there is no response from that particular prospect, 
you, you can send an automated follow up to that particular post. All the text editing, uh, editing options uh, still remain the same. You can add as many uh, steps uh, of follow up that you want to. There is no limit on the number of follow up that you can send. The next step is free, uh, you know the campaign settings where you can schedule your campaigns. You can select the times or you know uh, the day preference you can choose. You can include unsubscribe links or text from here. You can choose additional settings like you know you can uh, choose the priority of your emails. You can set the maximum uh, emails that can be sent per day per campaign. You can uh, you know enable trackings like open and click tracking or add uh, whenever someone unsubscribes. You can add them to a do not contact list so that they are they are never contacted again. And you can change the ownership and uh, email uh, email ownership and campaign ownership from here again. You can choose number of times that you can reach out to a particular prospect in in a day and per week. Next step is the, pre, uh, the preview part you know, where you can see uh, all the merge tag information that are pre-filled uh, into this and see how the e uh, email looks for each of the prospect. And if you want to include any custom message to any specific prospect, you can always edit, uh, cl uh, click on the edit button over here and include a custom message for that particular prospect itself. Next step is, uh, you know, uh, you can run a spam test in SmartReach, which basically, uh, you know, checks for whether your uh, email is properly authenticated or whether you are uh, listed in any of the global blacklists or if there are any problems with your emails, like uh, if there are any URLs or, you know, if there are any short URLs in your email, if there are any broken URLs in your email, it gives you all that information and uh, it helps you fix these, in, uh, uh, you know, problems in your emails. Uh, before sending a campaign. The next thing is starting the campaign. You can start a campaign with warm up or without warm up. Warm up is uh, something that we always recommend. If you are starting uh, to send from a newly created email address or a domain, uh, then we always recommend starting a campaign with warm up. If you have already used your email address for a very long time, uh, then you can simply start a campaign without warm up. Once you do that, SmartReach sets up this campaign for you. And within like half an hour, you can start sending your emails from this particular campaign. Uh, 